Well, new tonight at 10 as we all return to some normalcy after the height of the pandemic. Today, some students are finally celebrating a big milestone in life. Tonight, as News H Jonathan Fong shows us, St. Ambrose University graduates from 2020 are finally getting the chance to walk across the stage. It was an unexpected time. It was a huge difference from being in the classroom and having those in-person connections. It was, it was pretty hard. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic changed higher learning across the U.S. With classes online, masks, and social distancing required, and graduation ceremonies canceled. I think all of us were just a little excited to have an extra week of spring break. And then when it dawned on us that we weren't coming back, we were like, no, I, we, I really couldn't believe it. And students were preparing to enter an uncertain world. Um, I was in the middle of my last field work rotation, actually. Um, so I was working at a memory care unit, and everything just shut down. I think that that last day, that was the normal day, was like March 13th of uh, 2020. So since then, everything's been completely different. But Sunday at St. Ambrose University, students came back for the day they've been waiting for. Finally crossing the stage. I would like to suggest that you're almost perfectly qualified to bring hope into our world. You are well educated. You have sustained difficulty and disappointment. You have come through a time of unprecedented confusion and unexpected trial. Graduates, families, and staff grateful that this day they get a chance to reunite and honor their achievements. Being her parents, we're so proud to get the opportunity to acknowledge what she's accomplished. We're mm -hmm. really proud of her. Mm -hmm. In Davenport, Jonathan Fong, WQAD News 8. More than 200 students graduated from St. Ambrose in spring 2020.